We've just talked about different types of molecules, so let's look at two different molecules and see how their shape affects their polarity. First, we're going to look at carbon tetrachloride. You can see that it is a tetrahedron in shape, and it's very symmetrical. So the chlorine atoms are all attached to the carbon. So this should be a nonpolar molecule. I have an ebonite rod, and I'm going to just rub it with this rabbit's fur and collect some charges on it so that I have a static charge. And then I'm going to have a stream of carbon tetrachloride. And if this is polar, this charge on the rod will cause it to bend. Okay, you can see that this charge rod has absolutely no effect on that stream. Now let's look at another molecule. This is water. You can see that it is, has a bent shape and it's not symmetrical at all. Let's see how water's polarity will be affected by our charged rod. You can see that it's attracted to that rod because water itself is polar. 